Have you heard the news? Planum LED have just announced their new eighth generation red light therapy panel. This is their eighth generation Biomax. And you know what's really cool? It now has seven wavelengths. Yes, they've squeezed in another wavelength into this panel and I'm gonna reveal what that wavelength is very, very soon. Yeah, so the Platinum LED Biomax panel is one of, maybe it, it is the most popular panel in 2023. Not too sure, red light therapy panel I mean. Years ago, it won my 2019 comparison series. 2021, it placed a very close second. It was down to the last round. Go check that video out if you haven't seen it. And it's also been my personal use panel. I have four of them in my gym. It's my daily panel. I love it. I have great results. A lot of people love it. I should also mention I'm affiliated with the company. I do have a discount link. That means if you click the link, you're going to save 5% and I get a little bit of a commission. So full disclosure there. Now, early in 2023, they announced their seventh gen Biomax panel. And that was not surprisingly very revolutionary. I say not surprisingly because every time Biomax release a new panel, there is some really great addition to it. For instance, they were the first to come out with a touchscreen control panel. Now we're starting to see other companies with this. They had wireless connectivity for modular connections. And they were also one of the first panels to include wavelengths outside of the 850 and 660 nanometer range. So early 2023, they launched their seventh gen panel and it had blue light in it, which was quite surprising to be honest. I'm not going to get into the blue light because I've covered it in reviews and there's articles below talking about uh, the benefits and why you may or may not want it. But here now, end of 2023, they've come out with the eighth gen panel. So what's changed? Well, there are a few things actually. First up is price. Now, at the time of filming, they're keeping the same price across the Biomax range. However, come January the 1st, 2024, that price is going to go up. I don't know what it's going to go up to, but I have been told it's going to go up. So if you're watching this and you want to get a Biomax panel and you want to get the new one because it is shipping now, then I would suggest you order it before January the 1st. The other cool thing is they've gone back to offering free shipping. Now, again, I'm not too sure if this is going to remain into 2024. I believe the shipping will stay, but the price is going up. So I guess you're going to pay for shipping, even though it's free. You know what I mean? But anyway, I know right now for this month, December 2023, you're getting a really good deal. Uh, because prices across the board seem to be going up. So make the most of that. It's also got a new connection system. So if you are getting multiple panels, it's going to use a plate to join them all together rather than the uh, beams, which has been a bit fiddly. So that is a slight improvement. Most people, if you're only getting one panel, you're not going to really notice much about that. One thing that you will notice though is Planet Melody have gone back to their ratchet uh, pulley rope system. I've covered this in another video. Uh, interestingly, in 2023, they ditched that and went to a chain. Um, pros and cons of each, the chain looked nicer, but was harder to use. Uh, so anyway, I've gone back to the rope system. Of course, if you like a chain, you can just go to your local hardware store and buy a cheap chain. It's going to work just as well. Okay, and another key change here is specific to the Biomax 900. Now, back in 2021, in my comparison series, I decided to use the Biomax 600 instead of the wider 900 for two reasons. Firstly, the 600 was a lot cheaper, so I thought it was going to be a better, you know, all-around consumer product. But secondly, I was told that the Biomax 600 was actually putting out more power per LED chip than the 900. The reason being, the 900 was so much more powerful, and, and because it had more LEDs, they had to throttle it back a little bit if you used multiple panels because it would trip a circuit. So effectively it was handbraked just in case you got multiple panels and plugged them all into the same socket. Now, Platinum LED have addressed this and with these new eighth generation panels, what they've done is if you're running that panel in solo mode on its own, you're gonna get full power. You're gonna get a ton of power. The numbers are gonna be exceptionally high and you can see the numbers in my Light Therapy Insiders shopping tool where I have the 2023 review data up there and also my full review of the Biomax 900. But this will be welcome news to a lot of people who were always a bit put off by buying the 900 because they're like, hey, it's handicapped and I'm only gonna use one panel. All right, and now for the big reveal, the extra wavelengths. So, drum roll please. The new wavelength is 1060 nanometers, which is a near infrared wavelength. And it's really, really interesting because firstly, I do know a little bit about this. Earlier this year, I reviewed the Neuronic Neuroradiant 1070 headset helmet device. It was one of the first times I'd come across this wavelength. 
What was interesting is when I actually tested it, I was getting more 1050 to 1060, but even those wavelengths were still beneficial. I also discovered that the chips for 1050 or 1060 or 1070 are quite expensive. So maybe that is another reason why Platinum LED have had to increase their price. But at the same time, it is a really cool wavelength. This isn't just a gimmick wavelength. This isn't something that I've just pulled out of the air and put in say 740 or something like that. It's actually a well-supported, well-researched wavelength. Let me explain. So here's what we know. First up, there are a lot of published papers on 1060. And when I say 1060, let's go 1055 through to 1065, for instance, because some of the research is on 1064, some of it's 1060. Uh, and until I actually test it, I don't know exactly what's put out, but I'm gonna assume it's 1060. Anyway, there's almost as much research on 1060 nanometer light as there is for 850 nanometer light which is quite surprising given that every panel since day one has had 850 nanometers in it. So what do these studies show? Well, I'm gonna run through them all, so bear with me. We're seeing benefits with bone health in rats, cognitive performance in humans, increase in working memory and other aspects of executive function. One study actually showed a massive improvement in aerobic performance in humans. We're seeing studies showing an improvement in emotional health and a drop in depression risk. There are dozens of studies showing that 1060 can help with mitochondrial efficiency, which effectively, are, they are your power plants of the cell effectively giving you more energy, more well-being, more vitality. And we're also seeing a boost in metabolism as well. We have studies showing benefits with carpal tunnel syndrome, skin health, scars and wound healing, tinnitus, helping with pain, helping with arthritis, helping with nerve gen regeneration, helping with tooth sensitivity, helping with oral and dental health. We also have things such as improvement in back pain tolerance, uh, bone spurs, myofascial pain, and ligament pain. I mean, there's a heap of evidence out there showing that this wavelength is beneficial. Though I guess you could say the same about, well, I could literally say the same about 660 or 850. So I guess what I'm really trying to say here though is 1060 isn't just a fad, it isn't just a gimmick. There is credibility behind it. Some will say, look, we don't need it, just stick with 660 and 850. I know there's companies out there, there's even people deep into the research in the red light therapy field that still stick with just 660 and 850 nanometer light. However, what I'm saying is this additional wavelength does show benefits. So it's not like you're buying something that is gonna do harm or is a waste of time because that is not the case. And as we are starting to learn and discover and even my personal thoughts are, these other wavelengths are beneficial. They may in fact be more beneficial than the tried and tested wavelengths. We just don't know yet. So why not tap into them? There isn't any research showing that they're dangerous. So again, why not use them? So that is the brand new Platinum LED Biomax 900 8th gen. Now with 1060, I sound like some marketing salesperson here, uh, you know, buy now before they sold out or something like that. That's not the case. But what I would say, if you do want to get one before that price increase, then yeah, buy it now. Oh my God, I am a sales marketing dude, aren't I? Anyway, I'm going to be doing a review on this very, very soon. Uh, I need to get my head around the 1060 a little bit more and then do some testing. But as soon as I can, I will publish it here on the YouTube channel. Hit subscribe to be notified of that. Jump into our Facebook group because I will be sharing some comments and behind the scenes shots as well. So that is all exciting. Of course, I'll be including this panel in my 2024 comparison series. I'm super excited to see how it compares against the block lit lights, the mitre red lights, the mitre lights. There's, there's some awesome panels out there now. So it's going to be great. And in the meantime, head over to the Platinum LED website to learn more about it and also to buy one, of course. I do have a discount code, sorry, a discount link. It is down below. You need to click that link. You'll head over to the website and it'll say, hey, Alex has referred you. You get 5% off the sale. So you may as well use that because you save and then it supports me and this channel and it's a win-win for all. But of course, you don't have to. I mean, you can pay full price if you want to. It, it's no big deal, really. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts and reactions on this. In the meantime, why don't you go check out one of my other red light therapy review videos here. And you know what? If you're watching this in 2024, chances are my review of the 8th Gen Biomax will be right here in this box. So 